everyone. My name is Chad Dobier. Tonight we're here in a remote location in downtown Charleston, South Carolina, and we're going to meet some Honda tuner guys, okay? Now, sometimes they're called rice racers. I call them tuner guys, but they are car enthusiasts, according to Car and Driver Magazine or Motor Trend. These guys drive Hondas, you know, the cars that are loud going down the road that sound like bumblebees on the highway. They may annoy you at times, but we want to find out tonight what is it about hooking up a car, putting those wheels on them and those exhaust pipes, what's so cool about it and why these guys do it. So we're getting ready to go down to a remote location and we're going to meet them. So let's go ahead and go down there and see what's going on. Hey everybody. Yeah, so we've made it to our remote location. We're actually, just so you know, so it's not too secretive, we're down here at the Aquarium Parking Garage in downtown Charleston. So uh, we're gonna go up. Supposedly we got three Honda Civics, a 2010, a 2006, and a 2002. And uh, I've never seen them before, but I'm curious of what these cars are all about. And uh, the guy that I talked to on the phone said he's gonna bring out three super sporty Hondas. Let's go ahead and see what this is all going down right now. All right, everybody, we made it to our location right on the top floor is where these guys are hanging out at. Probably the best place to be considering you're in a parking garage. Let's go over there and meet them real quick. So again, got some really cool cars here. Now you can notice how uh, you got Xenon headlamps, which are considered to be called HID in the tuner world. And, uh, and we got a lot of carbon fiber going on that I can tell right here. But let's meet the first guy that owns this beautiful 2010 Honda Civic. His name's Brian. Come on over, Brian. Talk with us for a minute. What's up, man? How you doing, Brian? Doing good, man. Having swallowing like crazy. <laughs> That's right. We're having fun. That's right. We're having fun. Now, Brian, tell us about your car and uh, what's some of the stuff you've done to it over the years. Uh, say it's a 2010 Honda Civic. Uh, it's got carbon fiber, everything, hood, fenders, spoiler, trunk. Uh, I got a lip splitter with the bars, um, I got canards, and then on the interior I have I have one bride seat. One bride seat? <laughs> yeah, one bride seat. Now, a, a bride seat for some of the people out there who aren't familiar, what is a bride seat? I don't know. <laughs> it's a seat. <laughs> it's a seat. Is it a Japanese seat? It's a Japanese seat. So it's considered to be, is it, they call it JDM? Uh, yeah, I guess you can say JDM. Don't put that on there though. <laughs> <laughs> don't put that on there. So, bride seats. Now. Uh, a question here, it could stumble you a little bit, but um, you know, what what got into you at what age in your life to start doing this to your car? I got this car when I was 17. It was for my 17th birthday. I got it back in February and then ever, then, ever since then I started working on it and dumped more money and more money into it and then keep going, man. Keep going. Now, is it about going to the car shows and winning the trophies? Yes, sir, it is. That's so what that's, that's, what it, that's what encourages you to keep hooking it up and dressing it up and just modding it out yeah correct so this is brian's car people keep watching the video we got some extreme shots coming up right now Now we're with the next owner of this 2006 Civic. His name's Cameron Cole. How you doing, Cameron? Good. Now tell us, why are you passionate about doing stuff for your car? Um, really, I just started doing one thing after another. I started off with headlights, started out with taillights, started messing with the suspension a little bit, um, got into buying more expensive suspension, trading a lot. Um, and then really figuring out the specs of the car, seeing how low I could get it. Now, uh, if you could give some advice to someone out there that's just starting, you know, and they want to lower their car, would you advise them to cut their springs? Oh, no. Don't would, even no? buy cheap coilovers. <laughs> no. Would you advise them to take it to a muffler shop and have them heat the springs? No. 
Yeah. No. That's a lot of bouncing. <laughs> would not advise that. Cameron, what kind of wheels do you have? I have MB Battles in bronze, 17 by 9.5. So pretty wide rim there. Yeah. Does that help going around corners? Um, it can, not with the camber I have in the rear. It's not really made for that right now. So no camber kits in the back? No, I do. I have the SPC camber kit. And, but do you want it bowing out a little bit? Yeah, I like the way it looks with camber. And so I can tuck the wide rim up in the fender. Now, does that cause your tires to wear out quicker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like three months, I think. Three months. For the rear, and then I can swap them up front, and then I can also flip the tire so it's wearing on the other side of the tread. Okay, so he's figured out a science to keeping the tires from not wearing out as fast. Good advice. All right, let's meet our, meet our next guy. But before we do that, stay tuned for some extreme shots of Cameron's car. Now we're with Michael and his O2 Honda Civic. It's a little bit older in the bunch, but still a beautiful car. Michael, tell us, what do you got all going on with your car? Uh, let's see, as far as exterior goes, I got the Mugen front lip, black house and headlights with amber corners. Uh, I got the RS style front grille. As far as interior goes, the interior is completely redone. It's got RSX Type R carpet, two pride seats, uh, Takata harnesses, now, you know, this all comes down to money, really, folks, when it comes to hooking your car up. Now, how much can you just give us an average on what you think you've spent over the years? Too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Too much. Could it be five, six grand, possibly? Maybe more. Maybe more. Okay. <laughs> now, under the hood, what's all going on under there? Uh, right now, it's just a D-Series from the factory, but I got a K-Swap coming soon. Ooh, K-20. And uh, for some of the folks out there, which a lot of y'all watching this probably know already what that engine is, but what is that engine out of? It's from an RSX Type S. That's pretty fast engine. Yeah, it, it, it handles power pretty good. Cool. Let's take a look at his car. You know, he's given us some of the mods done to it. So what's, what's going on? I've noticed on the road seeing the white wall uh, printed tires. What, is that the right name for them? Yeah, they were white letter tires. Um, the tires themselves are to actual tow proxies. And the, the lighter, the... The tire letters are from tirestickers.com. So, you, so you're saying you can have regular tires and add on the white wall sticker? Yeah. And they stay on there? Yeah. It's just a sticker, basically. Yeah. Oh, the part of the R fell off already. But. That looks cool. I like it. Your car is also low to the ground. What uh, suspension type do you have? Uh, the suspension is TN Advanced Streets. So that's JDM. Yeah. Isn't TN <laughs> for JDM, right? Uh, Are you going for the JDM look on your car or the with that styling with the bride seats and everything? Yeah, somewhat more or less track style. Now, have you ever dreamed of having a right-hand drive car? Oh, yeah. I would love to do a right-hand drive conversion on this, but unfortunately with this body style, the only right-hand drives are in England, and they made about 600. So it's tough to find. Yeah, Almost it's gonna impossible to, to get one. Firewall. <laughs> there you go. Let's move on. Let's take a look at the rear. Again, I'm liking the bride seats. These are, from what I can tell, these are true racing seats here. They, I mean, there, there is no recline or uh, there's no lumbar supports going. That's the real deal right there. Yeah. So th does that hold you in pretty good going around the corners? Oh, yeah. You don't even move. <laughs> I suggest you going out to Roblin Road in Savannah. And I've been wanting to, actually. Yeah, that's a good time. <laughs> We're going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to figure out a way to get Stokes Honda to send all of us Honda guys to Roblin Road. Mark my words. The stickers are still in. Tell us, what do we got going on here? Let's see, this was an older sticker from an old friend. Obviously, Ohana means family. Family comes first, stuff like that. Nice. All JDM Motors, shout out to them. They helped me out when I blew my first motor. Uh, they got the swap done with two and a half days. Can't even tell. And they're located in Charleston? Yep, they're located off Astro Phosphate. Cool. Uh, Downstar. Downstar is an engine bay dress-up company out of, I want to say, California. Okay. Stay tuned. Extreme shots coming right now.
you for watching this video tonight. We had a great time. We met some great guys that love hooking up three wonderful Honda Civics. You know, take the time to think about what you want to do to your car and if doing these types of things to your car is what you want to do. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and send us a comment. And you can also bell us. That little bell notification on YouTube right next to subscribe. Hit that so you can get daily notifications when videos come up. We'll see you soon.